51-yard attempt with Chuck Hartley to hold for Rob Hoagland trying to win it. There's plenty of distance. No, no good. Time. No good. Rob Hoagland misses for 51 Ooh. yards. We're still tied with 27 at 27 all with five <laughs> seconds left. Oh, what a game. I'll tell you. Now, let's, let's see Minnesota gets the ball at the line of scrimmage, and they'll throw the home run. Boy, I've got a, do we have a penalty? And well, I was jumping up and down. And a penalty. Then, 12 men on the field, maybe. Minnesota, I believe, had 12 men on the field. Let's see if we can get a replay and count it. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Wow. It's going to be a penalty against the... I'll tell you, the kick was plenty of distance. He just kicked it to the right. We got a replay of that? Ask our people in the truck. It's a 15-yard penalty. We'll make the line of scrimmage about a 20, so this will be about a 37-yard kick rather than a 51-yarder. Hodlin is four for six from 30 to 39 yards. We have 12 men on the defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. What a backbreaker for Minnesota. With a score tied 27 all with five seconds left, Rob Hodlin will try it again. Unreal. A 36 yard attempt. This time it is good. One what second game. left, and Iowa has taken the lead. Incredible. One second left. And you see the stunned crowd. They, they have to say they enjoyed it. What a great football game this year. Still have one second remaining as Hayden Fry gets his team off the field. 12 men on the field. Rob Holden with three field goals in the game from 49, 38, and now 36 yarders. And there's the Floyd Rosedale headed for the Iowa sidelines, it appears. What a comeback. What a break at the end. 12 men. Well, what will we get here? Will we get one of Joe Capp's specialties, an eight lateral? Absolutely. Situation. Here's the field goal, the winning field goal. No doubt about this, it was right down the middle, boys. Rob Hoagland booms it through from 36 yards out, a former walk-on who accepted a scholarship after he made eight extra points in the spring game in 1985. And it appears he's given Iowa a victory. And I tell you, it's a tough loss for John, too. His team's played well. I tell you, both these teams displayed a lot of guts here in the last quarter, boys. A lot of poise. Could have gone either way. How about this man's yes, performance? Sir. Unreal. Mark Glassick, all these quarterbacks. Tremendous football game. I Big. would say this is our best win of the year. Yes, sir. By far. George Murphy will kick off for Iowa. The Hawkeyes lead 30 to 27. Now, if we can just get East Carolina and Miami to cooperate, <laughs> that would be asking something. It would be big favorites, of course. Don't hold your breath. East Carolina, on that. number one ranked team in the country, but we'll be there Thanksgiving Day. Roselle Richardson and Mel Anderson are deep. They want to stay away from a long run back. Picked up by one of the up men, and here's the lateral. <laughs> Well, it's still alive. Mel Anderson's got it. And that'll bring the game to an end, or will it? He laterals it. And now Roselle Richardson has it. And finally, <laughs> this wild and woolly game uh, is over. You, they tried to do this. The old Cal play. In 1982, they beat Stanford on the last play of the game on a kickoff, lateraling the thing about eight times, going through the Stanford fan to win it. And Minnesota was unable to pull it off. Floyd of Rosedale trophy, hoisted by one of the big linemen. Tremendous football game, and Iowa has prevailed by a score of 30 to 27. This is Super Football Saturday night on TNT.